this protest have brought out the very marginalized sections of the Lebanese society, those who are extremely deprived. <laughs> So we're standing in Martyrs Square. This is the meeting point for the large scale protests. People are coming from all over the country to show their anger with the government and its incompetency and its corruption. It started with a trash issue and it's evolved into a much bigger disappointment with corruption and lack of government services. This is an unprecedented protest because people are coming for the first time down to the streets irrespective of religious affiliation. We are from different sectors of society, from different age groups, from different regions, and we all want the same thing. We want to get rid of this rotten, corrupt system. They're stealing all our money, and they're not giving us like the basic rights, like electricity, water, the garbage is on the street. We cannot have them run in the country like this. We're basically like leaving the family by over there and going to a completely different scene here. It's a lot more young guys who are like energized, who are angry, who have a lot to, a lot of grievance. They feel like the government is doing absolutely nothing for them. This is all about the signal, right? Yeah, you dealt the signal. What happened? Because we are going to take them. And you are going to come out. 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 from the security forces. This weekend, there are three layers of barbed wire to prevent uh, the protesters and the security forces from mixing. But the, the protesters are throwing things over the barbed wire, trying to aggravate them, trying to get a reaction because they feel like they don't want to just be out here with no response from the government. There has been a bit of a problem when it comes to sort of organizing and being clear about what you know, the intentions and the motives for this are. Honestly, it's, it's not it's not enough of a percentage of the population for it to qualify as a popular uprising, which is what people are essentially calling for. Do you think that there's going to need to be violence in order for there to be gains? I mean, no one thinks violence uh, 
as a necessity per se, but you have to keep in mind that this protest have brought out the very marginalized sections of the Lebanese society. Yeah. Those who are extremely deprived, those who are not uh, concluded in the government policies, those uh, marginalized societies come here and they face state oppression with defiance. And, and keep in mind that these police were trained by the American aid programs that Lebanon gets from them. So instead of Lebanon getting aid programs to make the life of everyone better, we get aid programs where the police can be trained efficiently to control us every wow. time we dissent. Wow. And that's why people are angry. The problem is that this government doesn't get wow. that. So, so what Lebanon is importing from uh, the U.S. is police brutality, police training. I mean, we saw what yeah. happened in Ferguson. We see yeah. how many black people are getting killed every day in the United yeah. States. Whoa. So everyone is pulled out from this confrontation area, and I think they're moving over here because police forces are coming onto this side. So the new front line, the new front line has moved. Let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got this. All right. The riot force has broken into the protest area. They've already arrested a young kid. All right. So the protest just got dispersed. The riot police are picking up young kids who are on the front line and they're arresting them. The riot police is explaining that these guys that are lining up against these walls are going to be sent straight to the Ministry of Interior. They do not want any of this to be filmed. One of the riot police just put, basically roughed up a cameraman and put, a, put his hand over the, the camera. All right, so we got to move because we got strict instructions that the police are going to sweep this area. They've been arresting people on the street. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of riot police. They've completely closed off this area. It's filled to replace basically the protesters who were there. A few protesters are still on the other side, but I think that they're going to be pushed out.